We believe passionately in human rights and human dignity, and we want to work with the international community to advance that wherever we can. But President Biden was not prepared to have American men and women continue to fight and die in the civil war of another country in order to achieve that. We will use every other tool at our disposal to achieve that, and we will do so day after day, month after month, in the period of ahead uh, on behalf of the people of Afghanistan. To your question about allies, we gave 20 years of American blood, treasure, sweat, and tears in Afghanistan. We gave them every capacity in terms of training and equipment to stand up and fight for themselves. And at some point, it was the time for the United States to say that the Afghan people had to stand up for themselves. We believe that our commitments to our allies and partners are sacrosanct and always have been. We believe our commitment to uh, Taiwan and to Israel remains as strong as it's ever been. Keep in mind that with respect to Afghanistan, we said back in 2011 that we would be out in 2014. We stayed another seven years, far and above and beyond the commitment that we made more than a decade ago. And the last thing that I would say is that President Biden is laser focused on accomplishing the core national security objectives of the United States. And when it comes to Afghanistan, that was getting bin Laden and degrading Al Qaeda. We accomplished that, and he believes it was time for our troops to come home. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.